Hello, this is Train for Print. My name is Marcus Cruz. Welcome to the fifth episode of my Treasure Chest tutorial series where we, in Blender, learn to 3D model for 3D printing. This is where we ended up during the last episode. Uh, we added these rivets here. We learned how to add new objects with a shift a shortcut and we merge them all together with the boolean operation the boolean modifier today we are going to uh, add a bunch of new details to the chest i'm thinking first of all we're going to make uh, some kind of a locking mechanism to the front. So uh, if we look at it from the top, oh, sorry, let me turn on screencast keys. We look at it from the top, we can see that this here is the front. We go into front view and this is the front. So the lock should be here. Um, I'm thinking it should be kind of a, a sturdy plate here with a keyhole or something. We are doing this for 3D printing, so it will be a slight bit exaggerated. Right, uh, so Shift S, cursor to world origin, add a cube, and now the cube is right inside the uh, chest we can uh, use the Z and flick left to go into wireframe mode we can see that it is right in here gy something like that i created it in the uh, at the world origin because then I know it's completely centered but I want it a little bit down um, I think I want it here so it's only in the lower half of the chest I uh, have the cube selected tab into edit mode SX to scale it along the x-axis something like that and gy to should only be a little bit outside here and now we see that we have a rivet here that shouldn't be right there so let's remove that now we will go into a new thing for this series and that is hiding objects we can hide objects in object mode we can use the uh, little eye icon in the outliner for that but we can also select them and press H H hides the selection to bring back everything that is hidden it's Alt H. Now we actually got back the rivets too. So uh, let's hide the rivets. H. Let's hide the uh, uh, locking thingy here. Let's select the chest and let's tab into edit mode. Now we want to remove that rivet here but if we hover over it and press l to select it we see that we select everything because everything is connected so alt a to deselect everything we could but shouldn't shift click and select everything here that is a bad way of doing it what I suggest is, there are of course many many ways of doing this, but we could go into face mode and then 
we have a new way of selecting things. It's the C key. C. And then we can paint the selection. And we just paint around the rivet with the left key. And to exit this, now we are in this special mode, so we can right click to exit this. And we have selected every face around the rivet. That's pretty nifty to be able to do that. Now we can hide it. And now if we press L while hovering over the rivet, we select only the rivet. Uh, actually some straggler faces here. Let's press X, delete all the faces. Now the rivet is gone. We can press Alt-H to bring everything back. Now there is a hole here. Yeah, let's fix that. And if we have a hole, we could go into edge selection mode and shift click our way around. That's quite inefficient. What I like to do is go into the 3D print toolbox and press solid and now we will have this hole selected if it's the only thing that's broken in this mesh and currently that's that's the way it is and then we can just press F to fill the face we press solid again now it's fixed tab out of edit mode the rivet is gone there are lots of faces here there are ways to uh, merge them together. For instance, we could using the C selection mode again paint this hole and press F. No, we press uh, could it be that they are tiny? Yeah, there's something we we missed that. Now we have everything selected. We press F and all those faces gets replaced by one big face. Right. Alt-H to bring uh, those back. Uh, we can actually hide the rivets again. Now we have this. It should probably go a little bit more down. So, uh, tab into edit mode. Face selection mode. G said, move it down, something like that. But this will be an overhang when printing, so uh, go to edge selection mode and just move that down. G said, now it's still an overhang, but it's not that bad. I don't think we want this this sharp. We probably want a slight bevel on it. So in edit mode, press A to select everything and control B for bevel. Something like that. And now we can just uh, Add this to the chest with a boolean modifier. So we selected the chest, we added a boolean modifier and select the cube. Control A. We can move this plate out of the way, it's already added, we can actually delete it. So I think it would be nice with one rivet in each corner. So we will add a new UV sphere 
and the radius of this was 0 0.4 Just shift D and place it uh, roughly in each corner, a little bit in. Shift click everything and control J and we join them together so they're one object and it's we don't have to use boolean to add these together because they're not intersecting. We're using the control J instead to just join them. Now let's add these rivets to the chest. So once again chest boolean select the rivets apply. Now we can... Oh, I forgot to switch to union. Apply. So I actually had a difference instead and then they uh, removed from the um, mesh instead. So now we have this uh, lock. We should probably have a keyhole too. And let's uh, just place the cursor here in the middle. We make a cylinder and 0 0.5. That's probably good. You will see what I'm going to do here in a second. Uh, let's view this from the side, go into wireframe mode, R90. So this is the beginning of a keyhole. I view it slightly from the bottom, I go into edit mode, I select these faces here. I can see what I'm doing in wireframe mode and I extrude them down E and then Z classical keyhole and I want them to be flat so I scale them along the Z zero and they should go a little bit out so scale X drag it out Something like that. Yeah, that's that's a good keyhole, I think. And just remove that from the chest. And that's done by Boolean. Instead of adding, we want this to dig a hole or subtract or and so we select the chest. Boolean Select the keyhole and to subtract it's the difference. So I hide this and I see that we actually have a hole in here now. So I can select the chest and click Control A and the cylinder um, we can name it. Uh, uh, key hole if we want to keep it and then just hide it banking I want to go into the back here here <coughs> uh, I want to add uh, hinges, so let's create another cylinder here, make them a bit bigger, and the cylinders 
should go in in that direction so I press press control numpad one to view it from the back I press R90 to rotate the hinge around the y-axis I scale it along uh, the x-axis I think 2, that's good so one part of this hinge should be uh, merged to the um, lid and one to the bottom so we want some sort of uh, crevice here between them you know how to do that right now Control R to do a loop cut here right click to place it exactly in the middle we can Control B and scroll the mouse wheel up two times so we get these two extra loop cuts and then we use shrink fatten to scale them inwards we could also just have scaled them move the cursor out of the way so we can see it better yeah, that's not so bad. So, um, I think we should also have like a rivet in each end. So, we with face selection mode, we can place the cursor exactly in the middle of that face. And then we add a UV sphere. And something like that and shift s uv sphere we could add both of these separately to the hinge mechanism but let's shift click both of these and do control j to join them now they're one object because they're not self-intersection that's not a problem and we shift click the uh, no that's bool tools uh, we can uh, come to that later so let's uh, take the hinge boolean union and spheres control a we can remove those these rivets are getting on my nerves so let's just quickly move them out the way so let's introduce collections I simply press M and new collection I call that R archive and now the rivets have been moved to the archive collection to switch between collections I can press 1 in object mode to see the first collection and 2 to see the second collection now everything that we don't want to keep around we don't want to see it but we maybe don't want to delete it we can move it to another collection and it's out of our way so select this keyhole item object move it to archive and we can take the chest oh before we do this we should actually shift D no wait we tab into edit mode we select everything with A shift D and X now we have two hinges yeah that's probably good uh, 
boolean union selector hinges and control a to apply now we can hinges move to archive much better is this any good let's check normally before doing a boolean operation i try to check that both the meshes are uh, in a good state they don't have any holes or duplicate or intersection geometry but these objects are so far very simple so that's not a problem but we will check now do we have any non-manifold edges no very good do have, we have any intersections yes we have but that is an engon with a lot of faces so we select it and press ctrl t solid There might be something here. Let's actually uh, triangulate everything. Ah, now that everything is triangulated, it's perfectly fine. So, file export STL selection only. Treasure chest 5. That's all for this week. See you next week where we will actually start to sculpt the wood. Exciting. Thanks for watching. Bye.